Okay. Um, you know, I, I, uh, Neil was so kind, to, and Anthony have both um, been so gracious in, in thanking, uh, thanking us for uh, agreeing to do this and be a part of it. But, uh, you know, I, I, I would like to thank them um, because I think it, um, it just means a lot that they would, that they would ask us. And I get, obviously I get why, why they did. Um, but uh, as, I've, uh, as I said, um, I just have such tremendous respect for, for Anthony and Chris and the uh, courage that uh, they've shown throughout um, you know, what has to be an immeasurably difficult time uh, these last couple years. So um, there's so many things that are bigger <coughs> uh, You know, I think as you get older, you realize there's so many things that are bigger than what you do. And um, if we could in some way, you know, play a part in any type of uh, healing um, or certainly raising money for what is a tremendous cause um, around the spotlight of uh, and, and the cause that uh, Anthony and Chris have, have uh, started. Um, we're, we're glad to do that, and we're, we're grateful to do that, and we were grateful to be asked to do it. And um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Chris, what ultimately will you take from this experience? I mean, you get obviously emotional about what this is about and what this means, but also the feedback on your team. And if, it almost feels silly asking basketball questions given what this is all about. But what, what will you? Well, you know, I think uh, both teams were playing different different rotations, but um, I do think, uh, you know, playing in a different environment, and, and obviously we understand we, how, how challenging this environment is to play in, in normal circumstances. Um, but I just think a chance to, to play against a different environment. You know, I know Anthony felt the same way we did, is, is we were just really ready to, to compete against somebody else. And uh, I think for us, that was, um, you get a chance to compete against somebody else. And, and uh, what I think is a team that's going to have a, a good year and to look at different lineups. And I'm sure he, you know, in a regular game is going to play, you know, his guys, uh, certain guys more. Um, and uh, uh, our rotation may look a little bit different. But uh, all in all, I think you take some, you know, I told the guys before, before the game, there's nothing that can come out of this um, experience that, that isn't positive as long as we handle it the right way in terms of our approach and handle the adversity of the game and figure it out together. Um, and, you know, they were well aware of, of why we were doing this and, and the reason behind it. Uh, we had that conversation uh, pretty extensively. So, but I think the basketball stuff, we can just, you know, we got to, both of us, Anthony and I got to learn a little bit, just a little bit more about our group. You know, there's no grand statements coming out of an exhibition, uh, but um, a little bit more. Do you coach differently at all, given that, like you said, you're trying some things out, and I'm sure you want to win, you're a competitor, but also the game is about a little bit more than just the X's and O's. Like, how did you coach this game compared to how you went on the coaching game? Yeah, I, I think uh, you do coach a little bit different in exhibitions. Um, you can get caught up a little bit in the midst of the game and, you know, uh, playing it to win, and the reality is, is you are, but you also uh, there, there's more important things to Adam in a game like this that you want to get out than winning. Um, you want to look at different rotations. You want to see how guys respond to different situations. You want to see how uh, they respond uh, to how <coughs> how they're being guarded and defended. And uh, they did some good things against the press tonight, and that was good for us to see. Um, 
Uh, they rebounded the ball well. Um, we have to get considerably better in those areas. So I think all those things you, we can really take from it, really regardless of the score. Chris, Chris you know that roles are important, rotations are important. Yeah. Some coaches talk about blend being important uh, too, especially early in the year. Were you able to see and, and get a little bit of sense of that tonight, the blend of things? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, it's likely to look a little bit different once we get to playing. We started two different lineups, as you know, both halves. Um, we started a, two different lineups, so I don't know that that's a you know common thing we'll do throughout the year. But uh, you know, I've said I don't know that we'll play um, you know necessarily ten or eleven guys. I think we'll 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 probably play a little bit of a shorter rotation at times this year, and um, you don't always get to see that in an exhibition, but. Um, it was good to be able to play. I think we ended up playing 11 guys, but you know, nine or 10 fairly consistently. Uh, yeah, this was a pretty efficient shooting performance. 55% uh, of the team in the field, especially for you know, key guys, Bruce and Jameson, really efficient shooting the ball. What can you take from this exhibition in that area and apply that you did well to start? You know, I thought our ball movement was really good. I thought our, our body movement was really good for the most part. Um, and we got to continue to get better at that because they are a good defensive team. And, and obviously, when Holmes plays his traditional minutes, they're, they're, they give a, a he's a, at the basket. He's a you know he's a problem with his length, the just ability to move. He's a problem offensively and defensively. Um, so I think all in all, um, we were able to move it pretty effectively. And when they were trimming it to five and three and two, I thought we had some really quality possessions. We had some loose possessions there too with. Some new guys that we got to get better with, but overall, I like the quality of our offensive possessions. But you know, listen, the first thing we're going to look at is is we have to rebound better, and and where where were we defensively? And I thought we had some good defensive possessions. Connor Cigarette. Ohio State hasn't played here in a long, long time, and I know the day eighty-eight. Fans, the day fans are real excited to get you guys back in here. How do you feel um, the experience was with the environment, with the arena, and how do you think your guys did in some of those moments when the crowd really turned up? Well, I give their administration, uh, uh, I believe Neil's in the back there, I give their administration a lot of credit just because of um, the, 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 you know, I thought it was, um, you know, they made it clear kind of what this game was about. This is, listen, we all know this, all right? Anybody who follows college basketball understands this is one of the great environments in college basketball. It is, bar none. Like, I've coached college basketball for over 25 years, and for 25 years I've known that this place is one of the greatest basketball environments um, uh, in the sport. So to be able to, um, to, to do a home and home, it was hard to get out of the arena without several of them grabbing me and asking me if, you know, if we had signed the contract for the next home and home agreement yet. Um, but uh, it's something we'll definitely consider, um, especially, you know, we, as I've talked about, we love to play good teams um, uh, you know, top 50 net teams um, in, in home and homes, NCAA tournament teams, and that's what I believe this, this Dayton team will be this year. Jeff, uh, how'd you feel Felix, Felix matched up with Paul? Well, you know, I thought both he and Zed did a good job. I thought Zed just being a little bit uh, stronger and more physical at times uh, where it was able to impact him, but um, I thought Felix did some good things. You know, he hit a couple threes there early, one off an offensive rebound and one off our, off our pick and roll coverage. And we have a, a secondary coverage that we would have looked at if he would have continued to make it. But we were okay with him uh, shooting a few of those. Um, but he's a really good player. He's going to have a really good year. Um, and, um, you know, he's a load. He's a load on both ends. Yeah, Bruce, it seemed like, uh, didn't attack it in the first four-minute segment. Yeah. It wasn't like... Yeah, I got to force this shot up, and then it came to him kind of in waves after that. Just kind of a quiet twenty-one points. How do you put it? Yeah, it was too. It was too tentative to start the game. Okay. We ran. We ran a. We ran an action for him there early, and um, he's got to come off that thing and shoot it. We, you know, he just was. Can't, you know, Bruce is now a sophomore. He's uh, our one of our leaders. Uh, he's got to set the tone on both ends from from the jump. But you're right. He he was he was terrific throughout the game. If with I the exception can, of that start. If I can just add, uh, the two other guys in that lineup, I think battle people figured would play, but I'm happy. Maybe what have those two guys shown you, I guess, to, you say, earn that or 
however you put it, uh, to put them out there to start seeing this. Evan, yeah, specifically. Matt, and Battle, yeah. oh. Battle, we figured, I suppose. Yeah. No, I think Evan's going to Evan's going to play an important role for us. He's he's got to be able to rebound the ball better defensively. But uh, he's a really good passer. He's an exceptional ball handler at his size. Um, he's smart defensively. He picks things up well. Um, he is, um, you know, he's just a a kid that uh, I think is going to continue to grow. You know, the thing you forget about him is a sophomore. The reason we were excited about getting him is because we feel like he's got a high upside, Steve. And uh, what we'll see with him this year, I think, will be entirely different next year um, as he continues to get better. State fans were asked to be nice to the Buckeyes. <laughs> Circumstances of the game being what it was, not the head of the guys. Did you hear anything? I did not. Did you guys hear anything? No, the Dayton fans were, were incredible. <laughs> and they didn't need to be too nice. You know, they didn't need to be too nice. But, I, I again, I appreciate all how hospitable this, uh, this place was. They, you know, there was a sign out there that we noticed um, right away. Um, so, yeah, they were great. But, uh, uh, you know, I think what makes this place special is, is obviously is the fans. I mean, the arena's great, but when you fill it with, with 13,000, is that what it is? 13, but, you know, it just it makes it such a special college basketball environment. They were, they were tremendous. Kudos to them for being a part of this and selling it out and, you know, raising money for a tremendous cause. Coach, thanks. Okay, thank you, guys.